In this video, we're looking at the rule of contraposition. Contraposition is very important for doing logic. And contraposition is a rule for restructuring material conditional statements while maintaining the truth value of the conditional. And in these cases, truth is preserved when both the consequent and the antecedent are switched, and both of the component sentences are negated. Otherwise, truth is not preserved. So you can't be willy-nilly with how you are manipulating the statements. Looks like we have a problem here with a car accident. Uh-oh. If she had not been drinking, well, she would not have had the accident. Now, you, with contraposition, you can change that conditional statement to, if she had the accident, then she had been drinking. That is logically equivalent. Consider this claim. She is happy if Notre Dame wins. And who wouldn't be, after all? I mean, the Irish, right? So standard form of that statement would be, if Notre Dame wins, then she is happy. The contraposition, where you take the consequent, put it in the antecedent position, the antecedent, put it in the consequent position, negate them both. If she's not happy, then Notre Dame did not win. Let's do another one. She will not pass the course if she does not study hard. So of course, she is studying hard here. That's good. Now, in standard form, if she does not study hard, then she will not pass the course. The contraposition here, then, where you're negating the consequent, moving it into the antecedent position, if she passes the course, then she studies hard. So that's contraposition. You have to make sure that you're switching both the antecedent and the consequent and negating them both in order for this to work.